আউজুবিল্লাহিমিনাশাইতনজিম বিসমিল্লাহিরহমানুরহিম আসসালামু আলাইকুম ও রহমাতুল্লাহি ও বরাকাতহু মাই ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস স্পেশিয়ালি দ্য স্টুডেন্টস অফ ক্লাস টেন অ্যান্ড ক্লাস নাইন আই হোপ অলওয়েজ টু দল মাইটি ক্রিয়েটার দ্যাট ইউ অল আর ওয়েল সেফ অ্যান্ড সাউন্ড অ্যাট হোম অ্যান্ড লাইক আদার ডেজ again i am with you today with another topics and i would like to welcome you all to the polish lines school and college online classes and today i am with you with another and perhaps it is the last grammatical item and we are taking class on exercises so dear students Thank you very much and welcome you all and you know <coughs> I am Muhammad Abdul Muthalib senior teacher Polish Lines School and College Rangpur <coughs> you know dear students every day I am I, I am showing you the same picture the same one that means they are taking part they are writing in the examination hall so you know uh they took preparation before it and our target our main target is to take some classes especially for the students of class 10 and 9 so that you can prepare uh, well for the coming ssc examination this is my target and i and i hope your target should be like that so we are going to take a class so that you can uh, take preparation for the coming ssc examination so our today's topic is exercise on capital letters and punctuation marks and learning outcome this is the same one every day i i, I told you that that after completing these lessons we will be able to prepare for the coming ssc examination so dear students <coughs> today it will be my last topics for you and you know we have totally 11 items in english second paper the grammatical items from question number one to question number 11 and you know if you watch my class regularly you you, you know i have already uploaded 10 classes on 10 questions uh, from number one to number 10 in my last class it was sentence connectors and dear students, I told you, uh, this is my last class for 2020 because I have already finished 10 items and today uh, this is number 11 and it will be the last one. After today, uh, I hope uh, I will not take any classes in 2020 for you and uh, if our schools remain closed in the coming January again, then perhaps we, we have to take new classes but i think i hope this will be my last class for you for the 2020 so dear students you know the question number 11 the language of the question will be use capital and punctuation marks where necessary in the following text you know it's a context in this context uh, all the sentences are written but we don't follow the rules of capital letters and punctuation marks in the sentences these are omitted from here but as a student what your duty your duty you will read the sentences and you have to understand where the capital letter should be used and where the punctuation marks should be given and especially you know when i took the classes on grammatical rules i told you very completely i know it that uh, you know there are some particulars uh, rules and regulations of capital letters and punctuation marks if i write down a sentence to write down a sentence we, we should follow some guidelines of english grammar among the guidelines punctuation marks 
n capital letters are too early. There are hundreds type of grammatical rules. Among them, to write a sentence, I must have to follow the rules of capital letters and punctuation marks. That means the particular punctuation marks should be used in a particular places in a sentence. Particular capital letters should be used in a particular words. There, there, there are some rules fixed for them. So, dear students, I know you have no need to take these classes, but as a teacher, just I am taking these classes for you so that you can understand easily. But I know this is the easiest chapter. Among the 11 items, all the students think that this is the most easiest one. And uh, everybody uh, knows that they will get full marks. But as a teacher, I have different information to tell you. As all the students, you think that this uh, questions is very easy. But unfortunately, in the exam hall, you make one or two mistakes in that sentence, in the questions. But you know the tennis formations question number six or five or four these are very difficult so you study deeply on that topics you don't make any mistake on that difficult chapters but as it is our when we examine your khatas exam scripts we see that as it is the very much easy one but you make some mistakes because you always think that this is easy i have no need to practice on this chapter this is the main reason dear students i think it so my advice my advice to you you must have to practice it and when you will write down the answer in your exam scripts at least two times you should revise your answer whether you are right or wrong so now i i i, I took classes on the rules of uh, capital letters and punctuation marks i know if you forget the rules please my request to you please open our school website and go to that particular classes once again and then you will understand the rules and then you will come to the practice and today i am going to show you how you will practice it at home yourself so after watching this class you will open your exercise book at home and you will exercise yourself so my target just to uh, make you ignited my target is to make you uh, understand how you will practice at home my target is to ignite you is to make you interested so that you become interested yourself to practice at home without any help without any teachers because during this covid 19 pandemic you have no chance to go out available and you have no chance to go to any teacher's house so my request you will try to take the gist from my lecture and you will take the techniques and you will open your exercise book in your home and without any help you will try to exercise one after another and i believe i strongly believe if you practice two days or ten days or fifteen days then it will be easy to you so dear students you know especially uh, here the text will be selected from the direct narration you know the passage of direct narration you know when we write down the direct narration we have to use hundreds of punctuation marks okay so this type of direct narration will be given as a question and you have to give uh, use the capital marks and punctuation marks here so now dear students you know uh, how you will practice so this is for you will start from here fine so this is a proper noun you know proper noun always starts with the capital letters and every first word of the every sentence will be a start with the capital letters we know so we will use fahim so we will use here the capital letters you know it will be capital letters here so fahim said we know this is to me this is reporting verb you know so after reporting verb we should give a comma here you have know these techniques so have you finished so from here 
my direct speech has started so after comma we have to give an inverted comma here and you know before the inverted comma the first word will be start with the capital letters you know it completely so we will use here a capital letters so fahim said to me comma inverted comma starts and then have the a should be in capital so have you finished reading the book i you know the pronoun i is always should be written in the capital form so in will be capital the book i gave you yesterday so the sentence has started with an auxiliary verb you know so as it has started with an auxiliary verb so we should need an interrogation mark here so as this species has finished so i have to use an inverted comma because i have to close this dialogue this species so again come here so this is another species so as it is the another species so i have to start with an cap, uh, inverted comma and i told you the first letter must be in capital so then y will be in capital yes after yes we have to use a comma and i told you i the personal uh, this pronoun will be uh, in capital always so i will use a capital i here yes i have finished reading the book reading the book means here the species is finished here but you know the reporting verb of this species is after it so i cannot use here full stop i will use comma and then i will close the species by using an inverted comma here then i will be in capital i replied then here i will use give a full stop here so dear students this is another species so again i will use an inverted comma here the first word will be in capital so w will be in capital what an interesting book it is you know this sentence is an exclamatory form so i will give an exclamation mark here so reporting verb is after it so i will use here inverted comma i will be in capital i say it then i have to use full stop here so this is another speech here so again i have to give an inverted comma here the first word w will be in capital so will you return the book to me today so this speech has started with an auxiliary verb again so i have to give an note of interrogation and i have to close the speech by using another inverted comma then he asked i have to use an so just this type of word if we use then my answer will be right one okay so dear student i hope you have got the points and i know this is very easy you know it completely you have no need to listen one after another so how you will write down the answer in your exam scripts so we will go next so dear students here just i am going to rub it okay so dear students in your exam scripts just you will write down the answer like this you will write down on your exam scripts so answer to the questions number 11 after writing this just you will copy the passages but when you will copy the passages you will give the marks here and i, I told you that is here a is in capital comma inverted comma this is capital and i gave the I, i will be capital here interrogative interrogation mark and it will be closed with an inverted again inverted comma and comma then i in capital i have finished reading the book comma inverted comma close then i in capital reply full stop again another species started with an inverted comma w will be in capital what an interesting book it is this will be an exclamation marks 
then I will close the inverted comma. I will be in capital always. I say full stop. Another speech I will start with inverted comma. First word will be in capital. Will you return the book to me today as it is? It has started with an auxiliary verb. So I have given a note of interrogation here. And the speech is finished. So I have closed the species with using another inverted comma then he asks and full stop just you will copy the uh, passage like this and your answer will be right you will get full marks i hope you have understood uh, so thank you so dear students this is for today and i think this is for uh, the this year also and i hope dear students uh, you are starting at home, you are taking preparation for the coming SSC examination and I always believe it. Please don't go out without any urgent uh, necessities and please stay home and study yourself. Open your exercise book, try to exercise. If you fail to understand, please, if you uh, uh, fail to understand, please message me or call me or call another teacher. Our all the teachers are ready to respond to your questions if you have any questions if you have any problems you can call me you can call another teachers of our school they will help you and if you have any query please feel free hazards free you feel free to ask me any kinds of questions if you have any problems during the exercise of uh, 18 uh, 11 questions so dear students <coughs> Today I would like to say goodbye for this 2020 and if Allah wishes we will be again with in the uh, coming January because if our school become closed we will be again with you online. So thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.